Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video in my daily upload series for the month of November. Today I am sketching out page 11 of Trail Wizards Chapter 0, which is the last page that I sketched before going back to the thumbnailing process. For today, I wanted to talk a little bit about long-term goals. So one of my earliest influences in the online sphere was the online mangaka community. Started initially by, I believe, the Rona Project. After the Rona Project, it quickly blew up and many more creators came to the forefront and prominence in the community. And one of the cool things about the community at that point was that everyone was sort of in it for the same reasons. I feel like a lot of people, part of that initial community, really wanted to create a story in the manga aesthetic. They wanted to emulate the things that mangaka in Japan did well, but they wanted to do it in their own way and leave a mark on that industry because it had impacted them so much. And the one thing about being a mangaka, which has been widely publicized and oftentimes the negatives of that lifestyle have been downplayed, is that it is a long-term effort. You're doing it week to week, month to month, and you're constantly building upon this one central story. This is contrary to what I believed about comics at the time, Bear in mind, I had not been reading a lot of comics, but I had thought that the ones I had seen were just small one-off stories that maybe had some continuity based on the characters involved. So when I got into manga, the idea of a long-running story was amazing, and seeing that emulated with people who are all around the world, not just in Japan, but the online mangaka community was really inspiring. I think that's where my love of long-term goals kind of came from, and it's why I aspire to so many long-term goals myself. That drive, that energy, the idea that time invested is not wasted, you really feel those effects in long-term goals and trying to achieve long-term goals in general. For that very same reason, I don't think I could ever really keep up with short-term goals because I was always so focused on the long-term. For example, illustrations and illustration works, singular character pieces, those things didn't really hold any value for me. I did them because I was practicing. I never did them because I wanted to just do them. Things like turnarounds I did because I thought I had to do them, not necessarily because I wanted to do them. What I really wanted to do was comic pages at the time, and of course that has broadened in scope. I also actually want to write a lot more now too. But I feel at my happiest when I am building something up, when I'm working to lay the foundation and then constantly building on that foundation over and over again. Watching Trailblazers Chapter Zero come to life has been... One of the most rewarding artistic efforts I've done thus far because I'm not trying to create a one-shot idea for the sake of getting experience. I'm not trying to create a one-off idea that's not what I really wanted to do. But I'm working on the story that really means the most to me. And I'm doing it in a way where I can see the rest of it slowly sliding into place. And I know what elements I have to improve in order to get it to a place where it actually meets the vision I had for it when I set out to create this project. Now, I understand that long-term projects aren't exactly... The only way to do things, I also understand that they may not be the best way to do things because there's a lot of merit to doing short-term stuff. For example, as I said, practice. You can do better when you're practicing smaller things in repetition. You start understanding the medium more when you complete more of them. And long-term projects don't tend to see completion for a very long time. So there are some downsides to being obsessed with that mindset. But this is where I have to come in and say it really doesn't matter to me. And the reason why is not because I think I'm better than you know doing short-term development or anything like that. It's more so just because everybody's art journey is different and we should really just try to do what makes us happy. If I wasn't getting anything out of doing short burst character studies and sessions why should i hold myself back from doing what i want because if i have more enthusiasm to do something there's a good chance i'll be more open to learning more about a specific topic and i think that's why in all honesty my comics growth and development is probably going to be highest during chapter zero and beyond that's what was on my mind today for anybody watching i'm curious what your thoughts are on long-term goals whether you like them whether you don't and what you prefer doing a lot of shorter, smaller projects, or taking on one big long project. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my Instagram and my Discord. Links will be in the description box below. And as always, take care everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.